Colorado's not going to a vast vaccine passport where you have to flash proof that you got your shots to be able to go here or there, but you may be asked a lot about your vaccination status a lot more soon. Now that the state is saying that people can go maskless indoors in public, so long as 80% of the people in the room are vaccinated. It's left up to businesses and other places to figure out that number. Steve Steger looks at some plans. Working out in a mask and sucking that mask in when your heart is beating has been in and of itself a mental and physical battle. That battle is waged right here at Duality in Denver. Anyone who wants a workout must wear a mask. But the new state order from Governor Polis gives owner Jen Sevchik some hope. Elation at, at, is the gut instinct. The new order says people can go without a mask inside if 80% of people inside can prove they're vaccinated. How on earth do you make that happen? That's what Sevchik is trying to figure out. Initial thoughts are that we will be sending out a survey to all of our clientele. Obviously all their, their personal information, have they been vaccinated in a space to up, upload um, a copy of that vaccination card. It seems like every minute it's changing. The new rules mean a different kind of planning for Michelle Venter. Sending out an, a mass email to all of the RSVP guests and saying, hey, if you're vaccinated, feel free to bring your card. Michelle owns Urban Events Colorado, a wedding planning business. She's already done a few weddings with masks, which she admits is hard on brides and grooms. When you're around family and friends, it seems a little weird and awkward, but um, people have been resilient about it. Both Venter and Sebchik say they aren't sure how they're going to execute this. How do you ask someone for their vaccination status? We're anxiously awaiting any more guidance. But despite that, they both say this just feels good. We've been in it for a while now, so people are expecting, you know, kind of the worst. And I think this is a step in the in the right direction, in the positive direction. So here's a wrinkle in this. This is just a state order. There are a lot of municipalities that have local orders that are more restrictive that would supersede this. We talked to some county health departments in the area. A lot of them say that they're talking about what to do next, though we did hear from Denver, and Denver said its mask order will remain in place as it is until the end of May. Kyle. Hmm. You wonder, though, Steve, if this might just be one more way that folks who are on the fence get some subtle encouragement to get vaccinated. You know, maybe maybe you don't have an older relative that you're doing it for if you feel relatively healthy and safe, but maybe you would do it for your favorite business down the street. Yeah, you know, we've talked a lot about vaccine hesitancy lately, but, you, you know, if, if it means doing something that you love and going into a gym, say, to work out, that's not necessarily something that I love. It's something that other people love. But if it's something that they love and want to do, maybe that might give them the nudge to go get a vaccine. <laughs> Some honesty there from Steve Staker. Thank you.